The YouTube video going viral, posted on the internet by two activists who brought a camera into the Albany International Airport while they passed out flyers. Now, it led to a heated dispute over First Amendment rights. Beth Wortman has our top story. Beth? Hi, Benita. Well, as you'll see in the video clip, an airport spokesman tries to stop these activists from their mission, but a sheriff's deputy steps in to settle the confrontation and the right to free speech. So, hey everyone, this is Sasha Jessica. I am here at Albany International Airport. The young woman is standing outside the security checkpoint at the airport, telling the camera that she's there to hand out flyers to travelers, reminding them of their right to opt out of getting the body scan, which she claims carries health risks. Okay, on your this is, hold on, hold on. First of all, on turn this off right away. Airport spokesman Doug Myers tells the crew to stop videotaping and to go downstairs, which they agree to do, and they are confronted again. Sir, sir. You have a million dollars insurance policy here. You're violating the airport authority guidelines. You haven't paid. That doesn't matter to us at all. Okay, you can check that out. No, you're in our airport. But as the tension builds, Sheriff's Deputy Stan Lennox steps in, separating the two parties, then lays down the your, law. Obviously, this is your constitutional right. Okay. As far as we're concerned, you're not breaking any laws. Okay. That's that's what we want to get across to you guys. Okay. Myers objects, ordering airport employees to allow only ticketed passengers up. Stairs, accusing the activists of blocking the escalator. But once again, Deputy Lennox defends their First Amendment right. Okay, so that we means we're doing it for. I yeah. told you why. I'm okay. I am Jason no. Burmes. Let me see your you identification. I don't need to show you my identification. He doesn't, he doesn't have to show you his identification. The activists continue their mission. The video later posted to YouTube and goes viral. Not the kind of attention Deputy Lennox is used to. That's a little overwhelming. Um, I mean, I would. I was doing my job. I did the right thing. I, I felt I did the right thing, you know, protecting people's First Amendment rights. And Albany International Airport CEO John O'Donnell issued a statement this afternoon defending the authorities' policy, saying, quote, filing a simple form and providing advance notice of their arrival are all that is required. And we would welcome them back to the airport to distribute their information. Doug Myers had no comment. I'm Beth Workman. Bonita. All right, Beth.